So today we're going to be going over how to integrate Spotify into your Stream Deck. And the reason that you might want to do this, me, I'm on a two PC setup. So when I play music into the stream, the hotkey switch, if you just use a system hotkey switch like this, it can actually use other things. So if Spotify is not the top window and I had a tab open on say Twitch or something like that, then when I push the player pause button on my Stream Deck, it would actually pause the stream that I was watching rather than pausing the music. And so integrating Spotify into the Stream Deck actually allows it to control Spotify regardless of where that's at. This only works if you have a Spotify Premium account, so you need to make sure that you do if you want to integrate this into your Stream Deck. So we're going to click the Stream Deck store. We're going to go to the plugins, and you'll see Spotify. And we'll integrate Spotify. Now that it's installed, come over here to my Music tab. And you can see that it has DR Spotify by Bar Raider. Click it down tab. We'll put the play pause button in here. And it's going to immediately pop up with a Spotify integration. And this is where you need to make sure that you do each one of these steps because otherwise it won't work. So we're going to get started. You're basically giving DR and Stream Deck permissions to use the Spotify. So <clears throat> click on the click here tab. They do specify that you need to be very deliberate about what you do. And so the first thing that you're going to want to do is click on this developer at Spotify thing. We'll go back over here. It tells you to create the app. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to create the app. The app name is going to be Stream Deck. I've done this once before, so this is why it's here. We need to click the tab to say we agree and we understand. And we're going to come in here and we need to edit the settings. Now over here, see, in the edit settings, we need the website local host ID thing here, which is coming from BR, right? So we need to copy and paste this into here. We paste that here. Click add. Oh, we're going to just copy paste that there. I'm going to click add again, but I don't think I actually need to. So we're going to save the setting. I don't think we need to fill out our name or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, we're good. So we're going to save that setting. Go back here. That looks the same. That looks the same. Now we need to do the client ID and the client seek. So over here, you can see that the client ID is right here, right on the left hand side of the screen. So you're going to highlight all of this. I got an extra space field. Control C, come back into Stream Deck, paste it into the control or paste it into the client ID section. And then we're going to go back into the Spotify developers page and click to unhide the secret. Highlight the secret, Control C, I go back into the Stream Deck page and paste that into the client secret. Click Next. It's going to pop up and it's going to ask you. If we agree to the Stream Deck integration, it tells you what they're able to do. You click yes to agree. And now we can close the tab because it's been fully integrated. We can close all of the tabs. Back at the Stream Deck, we've got play. I'm going to go ahead and just drag over everyone that I want to use. So we've got play, we've got pause, we've got next. Uh, I'm going to go ahead because I can now, because I'm now fully integrated. And I don't have to worry about it doing anything. I'm going to put a volume up button and a volume down button. Obviously, your audio controls could be different from my audio controls and what you're able to do and what you want to do. I'm going to go ahead and put shuffle in. And then I'm going to put repeat in. And just like with the other things, I'm going to set these with the GIFs that I want them to be. So I put rewind, right here. I want this to be. My rewind, that's an access the rewind over here, set and file, my play button, my next track button, again, set and file. Uh, uh, next, you can tell that these are all actually, yes, they're all animated on the, uh, on the stream itself. We've got the volume down button, which is this thing. We've got the volume up button, which I don't remember what I use now. Mm -hmm. Volume up, that's it. And then the shuffle button should be here. It's going to be, I couldn't find uh, a really awesome shuffle button. So this is the repeat one, I don't remember what I did for repeat either. Oh. Repeat, that's what I did for repeat. I'll actually open this up and show you guys all of these uh, GIFs real quick. There it is, the button photos. 
So the next one, I mean, and you can do whatever you want, right? I just wanted to make this personalized for myself. When I push the music button, this is just the sounds going like this, gets me into that. So all of these things, we got Shaggy. Now we're fully integrated. I don't think you guys can hear the music. I don't think my, I don't think my, uh, my audio is set up that way, but I'm gonna go ahead and push the play button on my stream deck. And you'll see over here, you'll see that it will start playing. You need to make sure that the PC is selected. So now we're playing. We can push previous track. You can see that the track has changed. Go to the next track. If you look over here, you'll see that we're about to put it on a repeat. Repeat once. So you just push the repeat button multiple times and it'll go to repeat everything, repeat one track. We can push the shuffle button and you can see the shuffle highlights. We can turn the volume down and you'll see the volume start to go down here. So there we go, that's it. If the video was helpful for you, please go ahead and click the like button. You can subscribe if you want. I don't do a lot of tutorial videos. It's mostly Warzone content, but if we see some success, maybe I'll do more. If you guys want more, put it in the comments below. Let me know what you want.